Errol Spence Jr., one of boxing's biggest stars, has just confirmed that he will retire after his upcoming match in November. This announcement has sent shockwaves through the boxing world, especially since rumors about his retirement have been swirling ever since his loss to Terence Crawford last year. At the time, many dismissed the speculation, as it was Spence's first and only loss in his professional career. However, with a year having passed since that defeat and Spence remaining largely inactive, the rumors gained traction. Now, with Spence finally addressing the situation, the news has left fans and analysts alike scrambling to understand why he would choose to walk away at this point in his career. Spence's decision to retire has sparked widespread debate. Some speculate that his brutal loss to Crawford may have shaken his confidence, leading him to consider stepping away from the sport. Others believe that Spence simply wants to leave boxing on his own terms, rather than risk further damage to his legacy. Regardless of the reasons, Spence's final fight in November is shaping up to be a monumental event, with fans eager to see how his career will culminate. In the aftermath of his loss to Terence Crawford, many in the boxing community began to voice concerns about Spence's future. One notable figure, Oscar De La Hoya, reminded fans of the significant challenges Spence has faced outside the ring. In 2019, Spence was involved in a horrific car accident in which his Ferrari flipped multiple times, ejecting him from the vehicle because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Although initial reports downplayed the extent of his injuries, it later emerged that Spence had suffered major damage to his jaw and teeth. De La Hoya and others have suggested that this accident, combined with the wear and tear of a demanding boxing career, may have taken a toll on Spence's ability to compete at the highest level. Adding to the speculation, Terence Crawford recently weighed in on Spence's potential retirement and the possibility of a fight with Canelo Alvarez. Known for his knockout power and athleticism, Crawford expressed both empathy and competitiveness when discussing Spence's situation. Despite the rumors of Spence's retirement, Crawford made it clear that he remains eager to face him in the ring, regardless of the uncertainty surrounding Spence's future. This potential rematch has long been a dream matchup for boxing fans, and many are still holding out hope that it will happen, even as Spence contemplates hanging up his gloves. Crawford's comments didn't stop there. In addition to expressing his willingness to fight Spence again, he also set his sights on a potential bout with Canelo Alvarez, a four-weight world champion known for his incredible skill and power. Facing a fighter like Canelo would be a daunting challenge for anyone. But Crawford, who has already moved up in weight classes multiple times, seems unfazed. His confidence in his ability to compete with a larger, more powerful opponent has generated a great deal of excitement in the boxing community, with fans eagerly anticipating the possibility of this high-stakes showdown. If the Crawford vs. Canelo fight were to happen, it would undoubtedly be one of the most significant events in boxing. Canelo typically competes between 160 and 168 pounds, meaning Crawford would need to bulk up even more to match him. Despite the physical challenges, Crawford's readiness to take on such a formidable opponent has only further solidified his reputation as one of the sport's most fearless and determined fighters. Meanwhile, Errol Spence Jr. has been dealing with his own set of challenges. Following his devastating loss to Crawford last year, Spence activated his rematch clause, indicating his desire to face Crawford again. However, months have passed with little news about the rematch, fueling further speculation about Spence's future. Some of this silence could be attributed to the recent closure of Showtime Boxing, but Spence's own health issues have also played a role. Earlier this week, Spence revealed that he had undergone eye surgery, leading many to question whether he would indeed step back into the ring. Despite these concerns, Spence was quick to shut down any immediate retirement rumors, making it clear that he is still focused on returning to the ring. He acknowledged that he didn't live exactly like a boxer in the leads up to the Crawford fight, but remains determined to continue his career. Spence's resilience and commitment to the sport are admirable, but the question remains, how much longer can he keep pushing himself, especially after the challenges he's faced? Spence's next fight, scheduled for October, is against WBC junior middleweight champion Sebastian Fundora. At 34 years old, with a record of 28-1 and 22 knockouts, Spence still has the potential to continue his career if he wins this bout. A victory could open up a range of exciting possibilities for Spence, including a lucrative rematch with Crawford.
Crawford has made it clear that he aims to become the undisputed champion at 154 pounds, which means going through Spence if he wins the WBC title from Fundora. Another potential opponent for Spence could be Ryan Garcia, assuming Garcia isn't sidelined by a suspension related to a recent pet issue. However, the exact plan for Spence's career remains unclear. Fighting Fundora while challenging won't bring in the kind of money that a fight against Crawford or another top-tier opponent would. This uncertainty has left fans wondering whether Spence will truly retire after this fight or if a victory might reignite his passion for the sport. However, if Spence loses to Fundora, retirement might seem like the most logical step. In his last two fights, Spence hasn't looked like the dominant force he once was, and the long periods of inactivity and multiple injuries have undoubtedly taken their toll. The two car accidents he's been involved in, coupled with the weight fluctuations, have further complicated his ability to stay in peak condition. Reports from ESPN have indicated that Spence is in negotiations for the fight against Fundora, who boasts a record of 21-1 with 13 knockouts. Scheduled to take place in October at at and Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the bout will be a significant test for Spence, especially given his recent 15-month layoff and eye surgery. Fundora, standing at an imposing 6-5, presents a unique challenge for Spence, who will also need to cut weight to make the 154-pound limit. As Spence prepares for what could be his final fight, the media and fans alike are left to ponder his legacy. Will Spence retire on a high note, or will he push forward, hoping to reclaim the dominance he once held in the sport? The answer to that question may depend largely on the outcome of his match against Fundora. Despite all the speculation and uncertainty, one thing is clear. Spence's decision to retire, whether now or after his next fight, will mark the end of an era in boxing. He has been a dominant force in the welterweight division for years, and his absence will undoubtedly leave a void in the sport. For now, fans can only wait and see how Spence's story will unfold. Will he defy the odds and continue fighting, or will he choose to walk away while he's still at the top? Either way, his upcoming fight in November will be a must-watch event, as it could very well be the final chapter in the career of one of boxing's most compelling figures. As the boxing world continues to buzz with anticipation, Spence's fans are holding out hope that their hero will go out with a bang, either by securing a decisive victory or by proving that he still has what it takes to compete at the highest level. Meanwhile, Spence himself remains focused on the task at hand, determined to give his all in what could be his last hurrah. In conclusion, Errol Spence Jr. E's announcement of his impending retirement has added a new layer of drama to an already intense period in boxing. Whether he decides to retire after his fight with Fundora or continue his career, Spence's legacy is secure. He has been one of the sport's brightest stars, and his contributions to boxing will be remembered for years to come. As fans, all we can do is watch and wait eager to see how this final act will play out. What do you think? Will Spence retire, or will he find the motivation to keep fighting? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this and other boxing news.